Hi, my name is Ashok. I'm from Phoenix Training Institute. We are providing free classroom training in Mumbai for uh, one entire month for CFA aspirants so that they themselves can decide if they wish to continue this certification. Please feel free to contact us for uh, further details. Thank you. So, PIPS stands for percentage in points percentage in points what does this mean this percentage in points refers to the smallest move in an exchange rate smallest move in an exchange rate now what is this smallest move as in what so for example one percentage means what one percentage is one by hundred okay that is one percentage one out of hundred now what if i want to you know convert this one also into hundred parts so it will be one hundred one divided by hundred of one percentage okay so i'm i'm dissecting this into hundred parts one by hundred of one percentage this one by hundred of one percentage is called as uh, one pip okay so it is one part of this one which is of 100 okay so one part of this one is one hundredth of one percentage okay so one pip okay so pip is the singular form and pips is the plural form so one pip is equal to one hundredth of one percentage that is equal to one by hundred into again one by hundred because this one percentage becomes one by hundred again so that means one pip is equal to one by hundred and then you know like hundred into hundred so it becomes one by ten thousand so that is equal to zero point zero 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 one so this is one pip So this is one pip okay so now if i say five pips then it will be five by ten thousand so that will be uh, that will be zero point zero 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 five okay yeah so suppose if the exchange rate is imagine uh, if the exchange rate let's say one dollar is equal to let's say australian dollar something like 0 0.7345 i'm just randomly taking some number like this so normally uh, an exchange rate is quoted for four decimal points for better accuracy okay so if one dollar is equal to 0 0.47 i mean 0 0.7345 and it changes by let's say one pip so if it changes by one pip it will be 0 0.7345 and then remember one pip is equal to 0 0.0001 so that means let's say it has gone up by one pip so 0 0.0001 so the new exchange rate is 0 0.7346 if this would have been something like you know five pips then it will be 0 0.7345 plus 0 0.0005 okay so uh, yeah 0 0.7350 then suppose if if i say it is something like you know 3.5 uh, points okay 3.5 so in that case 0 0.7345 now 3.5 divided by 10,000 will be 0. Point uh, 0, 0, 0, 3, 5. so 0 0.00035 now when i add this we will get 0 0.73485 okay so this is how you are supposed to calculate uh, pips now further we can you know connect this uh, this concept to another terminology see one pip is also called as so one pip 
is equal to uh, one basis point in the banking world or in the banking uh, yeah in the banking world it is termed as basis points b a s i s basis points we can write like this as well okay basis points so if i say say for example central bank raises 25 basis points so 25 basis points so 25 basis points means 25 by 10000 so 25 by 10000 is 0 0.0025 right now that i can write as 0 0.25 percentage so 25 basis points interest rate um, central bank hiking is equal to they are hiking 0 0.25 percentage similarly if i say uh, 50 basis points okay so 50 basis points so 50 basis points means what 50 by 10000 so that is equal to 0 0.005 uh, zero so that is equal to 0 0.5 percentage 0 0.5 percentage so this is 0 0.5 percentage if it is 100 basis points 100 basis points will be 100 divided by 10,000 that comes to 0 0.01 which is 1 percentage so 100 basis points is equal to 1 percentage.